I just got a new air compressor for the shop and I did a lot of research and pretty much it was an easy decision. Landed on cast air. As the name implies, cast air. These pumps are made of cast iron. So a little bit of a backstory. Uh, cast air is a company out of Minnesota. It's a family owned company. They've been in business since 1991. And I'm gonna be going over some of the things that really separate cast air over a lot of the other um, industrial grade manufacturers. So cast air makes obviously tons of different types of air compressors in different series of air compressors. So they have a contractor series, a garage series, a commercial series like this model right here, as well as an industrial and a rotary screw. They also have custom compressors that they can build to fit your needs. So cast air runs their pumps significantly slower, less RPM, which in return, you are gonna get a cooler air charge, which is then gonna have less water in your system, as well as quieter operation and longer life. Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to be very concerned about when shopping for air compressors is the word peak horsepower. So the word peak horsepower is not usually true horsepower. The pumps also feature taper roller bearings at both ends of the crankshaft for superior support and less friction. The C1 and C2 pumps, this particular unit being a C1 pump, they have a centrifugal unloader for less load startup every time. The discharge and unloader tubes are made of copper for long life and heat dissipation. The tanks are powder coated ASME tanks with four legs on verticals and channels on horizontal tanks. All cast air compressors use Bulldor electric motors. These Bulldor electric motors are made right here in the USA and provide optimum reliability and longevity. The motors that are on the commercial series compressor like the one I have use a 3450 RPM motor and the electric motors that are on the industrial series compressors use a 1725 RPM motor. Another thing I wanna talk about is accessories. So this motor has the air silencer, which quiets the compressor down considerably, as well as the after cooler, which is right behind here. So basically this copper pipe is, can be very hot when you're running it um, for extended periods of time. And basically the air in here is basically steam which then it goes through more or less a radiator, which you, might, you can see there, it's on the back side. The radiator then has air being pulled through it from the pulley here. So the air being pulled through that drops the air charge by a considerable amount. So the air charge is then only about 20 degrees above ambient temperature. And this hose right here will actually be almost cool to the, cool to the touch, where this hose right here gets very hot. So then the steam then turns into, you know, water and accumulates at the bottom of the tank here, which then is automatically drained right here each time the compressor is fired up. So every time you fire up, this little thing right here shoots a little, um, has a signal that goes to it and it just drops air and you'll get a little bit of water out of that every time you start it up which then leads to dry air, which is very good for your tools, sandblasting, or whatever you're doing. Going into kind of the nitty gritty of this pump here. So the valve in these pumps is a disc and spring valve, as opposed to a reed valve, which is used on a lot of the other manufacturers, as well as the head here being complete cast iron construction. And the pistons internal to here have four rings as opposed to three. This particular engine is a inline two in the crankcase, um, cylinder, head, everything, the whole construction here is completely cast iron and it utilizes an automotive style crankshaft. So the automotive style crankshaft has, like we talked about earlier, tapered roller bearings on both ends of the crankshaft as well as a steel connecting rod. 
So with this compressor running, it's running right now at about 82 decibels with the air silencer installed. And you can tell just slow has slow RPM, which promotes quiet operation, long life, and it charges up relatively quick. And this one right here is a two stage, so it'll go up to 175 PSI. And we're using a 80 gallon tank here. It's an overall very quiet, well put together unit and built to last a lifetime.